Hello witches, this is my next video on making um, home-brewed probiotic drinks at home. So, one of the um, basic, most famous bottled brews in the old days was root beer. Um, and I'm going to give you a simple, easy way to make root beer at home, um, and also birch beer. Birch beer is on the same idea as root beer, but it's made with um, the bark of a birch tree. So, if you have a birch tree, find a birch tree, and all you have to do is um, peel off a piece of the bark and make sure it has the little, um, it looks kind of green on the other, underneath, so you don't want a, a dead piece, you want a piece with um, some of the green live part. But don't peel it all the way around or it'll damage the tree um, and make the tree die, actually. So just enough that, um, you know, you're going to get a nice, strong um, tea out of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to boil it um, in a pot of water. Let it steep with, with the bark in it. And um, after it's been steeping for a while, you can drink this um, hot the way it is. It's already technically birch beer, but it hasn't gone through fermentation enough to have um, the fermentation like alcohol kind of stuff in it. But it's like a, it's good as it is as a tea. But if you want to go through the process of making it into the fizzy, delicious fermented soda pop, um, all you have to do is, after you strain it and get the uh, bark out of it, put it in a pitcher and leave it. That's it. You don't need yeast, you don't need anything else, and it will uh, ferment over the course of a few weeks. I think probably in the old days somebody would just figure this stuff out by accident. Uh, probably just left a bucket of, uh, of water and some birch fell in it, and there you go. But anyway, so... Um, after a few weeks, once you have the fermented um, birch beer stuff, then at that point you can put it into the bottles and um, let it ferment further, letting the air out. Same kind of thing as the other videos, you know, you let it um, ferment, open it up, let the air out, and then taste it. And once it gets to be what you want it to be, then um, it will be done. So that's pretty uh, simple. And then if you want to make root beer, um, sassafras is a common one. Uh, to find sassafras, uh, the, the I mean, you can obviously look it up online to see what the leaves look like. They kind of look like a mitten with like two or three fingers. So um, when you find the right uh, plant that you want for the root, you're going to dig it up and take the root. Wash it off, clean it, make sure there's no dirt on it. And then it's the same idea. You're going to boil it, steep it, um, and then once it's steeped, let it ferment the same way as the birch beer. And, um, yeah. And actually, the, the leaves of sassafras can be used, too. Um, the sassafras leaves, uh, I've heard that you can grind them up and put them into gumbo. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, I hope you liked this, and bless a bee. Bye.